Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we're going to take a look at the variations of Mix 1 of Spin Master Monster Jam 164 scale. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today is a very special video that has been highly requested. I don't want this video to be super long and drawn out, so I'm going to get to the point with every single variation very quickly. So we're going to start here with Gravedigger, the first set of Gravediggers. These are the singles packs, so let's take a look at what's different about them. All of these have a variation to them. The first initial release of Gravedigger was this one, and this is what we call the matte clear coat with the weird logo. I call it the gray logo and also the gray rimmed Gravedigger. So as we see here, there is a logo on the top that is, of course, the Gravedigger logo. And you might be able to tell there's a grayness color to it. Also, it's a very prominent white uh, on this logo instead of more red than white. So the balance is different. Also, the same thing on this side, you can see the gray is more prominent and the white over the red. And in the second release, they actually corrected that to be the uh, more, uh, you know, white texture. And then, of course, they also added more red. So there's the difference between the logos on the roof and on the sides. So there's the difference. And also, this one does have a matte clear coat, like I said. So it's you can see the matteness of there. There's not really any glossy uh, clear coat, but you have gloss on this one, much more glossy on the roof than this one had. And the final, as we call it, the revised product, the green rimmed one that I received from Spin Master for my first review has the corrected decal. So the difference between this to this, and of course this one to this, is that they actually extended out the decals. So now they actually reach the end of the body. So you can see they do go to the end. The original ones did not. And they actually darkened up this little moon ring here. So there's four rings here. And on the original ones, they were um, pretty light, kind of grainy color purple. These are now really dark purple. So that's the corrections they made from the gray rimmed one with the corrected logo to this one. So in order, this was the first unrevised product, the second unrevised product, and the final revised product. The doubles pack one with the gray logo, matte clear coat, and you can see it's pretty grainy. They had some pretty grainy runs with the new factory. So you can see it's a matte clear coat, very uh, prominent matte clear coat on this one. And it does have the charcoal gray rims, which was of course for the doubles packs. There's no rim variation here. Pretty much we're only looking at the decal work. So the difference between this one to this one is the clearness of the decals has been definitely changed. And of course the roof has the newer logo compared to the older one. It might be hard to see, but I'm pretty sure you can see how, how different these are. So that's the difference between those two. So this is the first unrevised one, the second unrevised one, and now the final revised product. So this is the one you'll see with the green rimmed wildflower. The other ones came with pink rimmed wildflowers. So this one has the clear logo, the glossy clear coat, super glossy clear coat. These decals make it all the way to the end of the truck. And of course the uh, the rings have been darkened up here on the side compared to the previous one. Gravedigger actually has the largest amount of variations in this mix, but here is the Max D. So we're gonna start here in order with the unrevised product. So this is the first initial release. And um, I wanna point out this now because I will be speaking about this later on in many different trucks. This little logo here, this super clear Monster Jam logo is what I call the black and gray Monster Jam logo. So you can see how it doesn't really look like the real Monster Jam logo. It's kind of like a remake of it. So this is what I'll reference as the black and gray in the later parts of this video and now. So this is the black and gray Max D. It has a very dark side panel. As you can see, it's pretty dark gray compared to how the real truck would be. The sides do not have spikes on them, which is actually pretty accurate to the real truck. The real truck does not have 3D spikes on the sides. That was something that actually changed, and I'll show you in a second, uh, which actually made it inaccurate. But that was the uh, original side panels. The hood here has black stripes and a dark coloration to the kind of uh, weathered look that they have on the real truck. So you can see how dark the front spike plates were. And of course, these little lines in the front were actually painted in black. And also same with the top here, also painted in black with the uh, flames and also the weathering effect again is very dark how it should be on this max d and we have the black and gray logo in the back with gray rims now when it came back out again it had the gray logo so this is what i call the gray monster jam logo pretty much the monster jam pretty much the monster jam logo that we all know is pretty blurry here but you can see kind of the difference here between the let me put them on the tailgate actually the uh the gray and black monster jam logo versus the gray logo so there's a difference and you'll see them more prominent on other trucks, but that's the difference between that Max D to this one. Just the Monster Jam logo changed, nothing else about the decals or anything changed from this one to this one. So this is the second unrevised product. 
And technically in the middle between both is the Monster Dirt Max D playset, um, the deluxe set Max D. Kind of got the best of both worlds here. The main thing about this Max D is it has the gray Monster Jam logo, which is correct. Also spikeless side panels. So this is very close to how the real Max D looks and how it should have been done. Um, they did change and add the spikes on there, which made this um, the most accurate one they actually released so far. Gray rims are accurate. Uh, orange rims do look better in my opinion, but gray rims are accurate. So this is pretty much a very accurate CRD Max D, which is the chassis style. But um, yeah, this is a pretty good representation of Max D. You can see there's the Monster Jam logo, the gray Monster Jam logo, and just an awesome looking piece here. So this is the Monster Dirt Deluxe Set Max D. And this is the final singles release product. So this was the Monster Dirt one, but here's all the singles packs leading up to this one. This is the final revised product. So what they did was they dimmed down the gray tone here from black to gray. Also same up here with these, um, the front here is not super dark anymore. Same with the back, it's not dark black. It's actually lighter gray. The weathering tone has been taken down a bit. You can see the grayness of the uh, scratches and all those scuffs have been taken down a lot. Same with the front here, really light on this one, which I prefer the darker one. Um, but I think that's a difference between the two. And you can see the side panels do have raised up 3D spikes now, uh, and also underneath the wing. Um, again, like I said, this was more accurate, but they did change it onto the final one, and it does have orange tangerine kind of style rims. So El Toro Loco has three stages. The initial stage, which I actually originally saw at a first meeting with Spin Master. I remember seeing this textured nose, and I had a feeling that it was gonna be a little bit of a problem. I had a feeling they would also fix it, uh, which they did. So this is what I originally saw the first time I ever saw a Spin Master product in person was this El Toro Loco right here. This is what we call the textured nose unrevised product because it has these three lines, a very defined textured nose. It also has eyebrows and this little hair between the eyebrows and also on the side panel. This is a thing with the El Toro Loco. They had this maroon outline to the flames. They actually took that off. The original black and gray Monster Jam logo. The flames did not reach the edge of the mouth like they should. And also the tailgate had no monsterjam.com. Also the truck had gray rims. There was a lot of things that they actually corrected about El Toro Loco. Not in this one, which the only thing that's different about these two is this is now a smooth nose, which they used um, in the end, they actually used a smooth nose, which I prefer. So you can see the textured nose compared to the smooth nose. That's the difference between those two. But between this one and the final product, there was a lot of corrections made. So here's what we call the final orange product. I call it that because the orange rim and also a lot of corrections took place on here. You can see here the Monster Jam logo has been changed to the gray Monster Jam logo compared to the black and gray one. The flames now reach the mouth and the maroon outline has been removed and they're kind of smoother now. The uh, tailgate has monsterjam.com added on the back there. Like I said, of course, the orange rims have been changed from gray. And there's the other side, same stuff. The front, pretty much the same here, the same smooth nose, but you'll notice the biggest difference is the eyebrows. So they actually took off the black eyebrows and left them blank, just like the real truck currently runs. So that's a pretty cool little difference that they added, and I think it looks so much better with just plain El Toro Loco style. And this one's gonna be very quick. This is the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. The original product had the white collar stones with the black and gray Monster Jam logo. Also, it had no whisker dots on the front and a different tongue. The final revised product added a kind of a different style tongue. It's kind of a sharper tongue shape and it has a little dent in the middle. Also the whisker dots were added on there and blue collar stones just like the original render had. Also the Monster Jam logo has been changed to the actual gray Monster Jam logo. So that's the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. This one also very quick. There's only one difference and that's the Monster Jam logo between the Wonder Woman. This is one that's a great example for the Monster Jam logos because you'll notice it right here, how dark this one is. This is the black and gray Monster Jam logo versus the Monster Jam logo in gray, so right there. And a very popular one, this is the Wildflower variation. So you might've seen this Wildflower with the original Grave Diggers I showed you, the two original ones. Before they were revised by the Spin Master team, Rosalie actually requested green rims on there, so they actually changed that into the green green rimmed one we saw in the final product. So this is the original one. It does have a matte clear coat. You can see there's no gloss to it. It does have the original Moss Jam black and gray logo as well. And just a very interesting matte clear coat on there with the pink rims. The final revised product has the green rims, which I think looks much better in my personal opinion with this roll cage and chassis setup. The glossy clear coat there. And of course the Moss Jam logo has been changed to the gray one. So very cool that they actually revised that one. So that's Wildflower. And Pirate's Curse has some variations to it as well. 
They changed the rim color from gold to red. The chin has been textured with the actual bottom part. So you can see here, it was originally just black paint and now it has the actual chin texture printed on there. So you can see there's the chin texture compared to just black paint. And the face is still the same on the top part, but we do have something that's kind of hard to see. But if we look on the original one with the gold rims, you can see it's just red paint on the side here. No shadowing, no texture. And they actually added on a bandana texture, which is kind of hard to see on the 164 scale, but the 124 scale definitely shows it. You can see kind of a textured dots right there um, with shading. So I'm trying to compare them, but it's hard to see. Maybe you can see it there. But I, I definitely know that that's on there and it's a difference. If you have them in person, it's kind of easier to see. But uh, that's the difference between the Pirate's Curses. I prefer the newer one with the red rims much better, in my personal opinion. And Megalodon has a few variations, very simple ones though. The Monster Dirt sets have a difference in Monster Jam logo color and also a little bit of the blurry texture has been fixed up on the final one. So you can see the black Monster Jam logo has been changed to the gray one on the Monster Dirt set one. And also same thing with the singles. So we got the black and gray Monster Jam logo changed onto a nice smooth gray texture logo. I think this one looks much cleaner and I'm very happy with how Megalodon turned out. So that's the difference between these Megalodons in Mix 1. Now these are some big ones here. There's a very rare variation of Bounty Hunter that was removed from store shelves because it had this phone number on here. So this Texas truck Works phone number and location on the roof and tailgate has become the rarest spin master truck for the singles mainline releases so far very little of these have made it to the public and they're pretty hard to find so they are very sought after uh thank you to doug monster mexican one who found actually six of them for helping me get this one this is the original one so this is the phone number one very hard to find so there it is you can see the phone number on the back and also the location of the place on there it does have a matte clear coat which is kind of hard to see because this one has a pretty good clear coat but there is a matte clear coat variation of the newer ones. So you can see how it's pretty dull. It's hard to see, but it's, it is pretty dull compared to the modern glossy. So it's a hard variation to tell, but it is there. A matte clear coat versus the glossy. But you could kind of see it on here, how glossy it is compared. So this is the matte clear coat non-phone number variation versus the glossy finalized product without the phone number. So the phone number one is pretty hard to find, and uh, that's pretty cool to see on there because it's pretty accurate to the real truck. So that's the Texas Truck Works Bounty Hunter. And some quick ones here. This basically is only one variation. It is a matte clear coat. And also the Monster Jam logo has been corrected from the black and gray to the gray one on Jester. Same with this double pack companion. The Dragon has a matte clear coat on the original one with the black and gray Monster Jam logo. And the final product has a glossy clear coat with the gray logo. Storm Damage also has a variation with the logos. You can see here, the black and gray Monster Jam logo has been changed into the gray one. And that has also a matte clear coat. Zombie has one or two variations on here. You can see the logos are the same. However, the rim color has changed from the blue to the green in the playset one. And also they painted on the ear on the green one, the final revised product being the green. So you can see the clear ear here with the windshield texture compared to the painted on gray ear. Yes. The only trucks to not have variations in Mix 1, Brodozer and Gas Monkey Garage, simply because of the fact that they do not have any color in their logos. They're just pretty much a black and green and black and yellow logo. And I don't think they have a matte clear coat versus glossy clear coat comparison. So hopefully we're safe on those. These two do not have variations. So these are the only two with that exception. And finally, the last variation of Mix 1, Blue Thunder. So here are the singles ones. We can see here, we started with the original black and gray Monster Jam logo. It does have a matte clear coat on here for this Blue Thunder and gray rims. They then corrected it to be the gray Monster Jam logo with the uh, glossy clear coat and also gray rims on here. And the final revised product, which came in pretty late, it actually came in after these hit shelves, the blue rimmed variation with the same logo and glossy clear coat. Uh, was the final revised product for the doubles pack Blue Thunder versus Storm Damage. I think the, the blue ones look pretty good. I also like the gray ones. So it's a very nice variation mix. You guys can choose which ones you like the best. Or if you click variations, you could get them both. But there's the difference between those two. And originally, the Monster Dirt one actually had the blue rims. So it's pretty cool that they hinted at the correction that they were going to make. The rim color is different. It's hard to tell on my camera, but this is a dark indigo color. This is definitely a solid navy blue, but there is no variation of the Monster Dirt one. It just has the gray logo and the blue rims. So the only variation of Mix 2 that we currently know of and I've been told about is the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. So we can see here the dark gray fur 
versus the light gray fur. So the light gray on my right side here being the unrevised product and the dark black fur being the final revised one. So that's the last variation and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Highly requested. I'm very happy I could help you guys out by showing you guys them on camera. Hopefully it helps some people with their hunts because I know people are looking for all the variations. Some are just looking for some, but a lot of people do want to collect a lot of the variations. So hopefully this video helps you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is Reminder Monster Jam OCD signing out.